And here we're going to see ZMS, ZMS, which is doing something really unique with uh, SMS and location and people and time. We're going to see it right now. Who are you? Uh, my name is uh, Noureddin Rouiba. I am a CEO and co-founder at uh, IndieAir, the company who is building ZMS, the next generation mobile messaging. Yeah. And um, my background is I came from, uh, I worked for two American companies, digital equipment and uh, Sun Microsystems. And I was involved into the Java mobile edition at Sun Microsystems, launching this technology. And many ideas came from that time. And uh, today I'm reusing these ideas to create my own company. Yeah, I, lo I love you because, um, uh, you know, a lot of people would look at SMS and say, oh, SMS is done. Why do we need more, a new SMS thing? But uh, when I saw what you're doing, it's quite unique. And you're mixing in location. Well, tell me what you do. So you, you know that the SMS is about 20 years old yeah. today. And uh, at that time we had these old key phones Today we have nice smartphones with a GPS, with a touch screen, always connected to internet, and you can do much more. So basically what we do, we, we have reinvented SMS and MMS. And we are bringing three main features. The first one is a capability to uh, create a multimedia message containing audio, video, uh, photos, etc. Okay, some, some apps are doing it. A second unique feature is the capability to drop a message to a specific location to your, a friend for instance and your friend will receive the message only when he or she will be around that location. Isn't it a, another way to, to, to share with your, your friend and family? And third we added the time so you can schedule messages to be sent at a specific date and time in the future and then you can combine all these together, the multimedia, the space, and the time. It's really useful because, uh, you know, my wife often says, can you pick up some milk on the way home or something like that? And she'll just send it when I'm at, at our San Francisco office and I'll forget, right? But now she can put a message on my car. So when I walk near my car, my phone sends the SMS to me, right? Right, exactly. And, How and does that work? Because that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, yes, because you know, these new phones, they have uh, the, the, this geolocation capability. So we, we have built that uh, on a very um, reliable server. We are on top of the Google App Engine. So we are on the Google Cloud. So very reliable, scalable, etc. And we are using the location capability on the phone. And we are using your data subscription to connect using standard protocols. Yeah. Um, do, do both of us need to be on uh, ZMS to use this? Yes and no. So okay. basically what we've done is, of course, like all the other applications, you can invite non-ZMS customers to download the application and use it. But also if you send a message to someone who is not using ZMS, he will receive an SMS with a text message and an invitation to join us. But more than this, we keep in mind that that person was participating to a conversation because our messages are conversations. And even if the person, like two weeks or three weeks later, download the application to use it, automatically he will be integrated into the existing conversation that started before he joined. Yeah. And then he can see whatever happened before. Now, you can, you can put a message on a location, so like, I. On uh, January 1st, I'm going to be in Yosemite. So if somebody can leave me a little message in Yosemite. How accurate is it? Does it do, you can, can they leave it on just a hotel, or is it on uh, the park as a whole? Or you, you can uh, tune that. I mean, you can decide what is your accuracy. Okay. So you can say if you are downtown, you say maybe it's 50 meters. If you are in uh, Yosemite, maybe you say it's five kilometers because it's a wider area. And uh, we have a very nice capability, we, we work offline. So if a friend of you drops you a message to the Yosemite Park, and when you arrive there, you don't have any network, you will still receive the message. Yeah, because it's cached on your phone. And we have the GPS, 
and we, we can show you that message without any network. Oh, that's cool. And you can even create a message while you're there to be sent to your friends, and the message will be located at the right place, but sent as soon as you get networked. Very interesting. So this is a new world where uh, we can play with location. You can also play with time, right? Right. So like everybody wants to send a message to their family on uh, New Year's and right. say Happy New Year or Happy Birthday. or Exactly. So I can leave a message for you on January 1st? Exactly. Birthday remind, reminder. And the, the 31st, typically, you know, those people at midnight, they're trying to send SMS. The network is crowded and and you just enjoy your cup of champagne because you know your messages will be sent for you automatically. Wow. Where do you think this is going? Because it's a new idea and it, yeah, you know, we, people, it takes a while for people to get used to the idea that they can put messages on things or in time, right? Yeah, our ambition is really global. I mean, we designed the application to be working everywhere in the world. We actually were out in the App Store last night so we schedule it to be delivered in the web here. And uh, today we are in English and French. In a couple of weeks, we'll be covering German, Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, uh, to cover a lot of countries. And we, we are really going after uh, SMS and MMS. And we think we are bringing some unique value on top of applications like uh, WhatsApp or Kik or even iMessage. Yeah. And because we are also m m uh, device agnostic, I mean, we run today on, on iOS, we are working on Android, we are working on a web client, so you can use your messages on uh, any type of computer. Yeah. We will do the web phone, the Windows phone, uh, maybe Blackberry, uh, any popular phone that have the uh, capabilities. Yeah, because it's a simple message. Now, if I took it two or three years further, um, I'm, I might want to leave you a message at Yosemite but I might want it to be a smart message where I know you're there because you got the message, because you walked into the geofence, yeah, yes. right? And I I might want to kick off API calls to other things, like I might want to say, hey, you should check in on Foursquare, or uh, pull in a Yelp review for the Iwani Hotel and say, hey, you should go to dinner at the Iwani uh, yeah, Hotel. Yeah, yeah, you will be able to do that. Today, what we are connecting to Facebook already, yeah. So what we do is you have uh, private messages, which are really private, like SMS, where you have one or many people, a group of people, having a conversation in, in, in a location or, or an instant message as well. Yeah. And we have public messages. So basically, you are at the web here, you like the place, you like a, a company, and you can drop a public message here. But that public message will not be sp spammed to everybody here people will have to discover the message. We have a around me function where you have a radar that will go and try to discover what's really around you only here. And then you can share uh, opinions, you can share uh, ideas into that conversation. And then you can push it to your Facebook account to share that with your Facebook fans. Interesting. So you can see how a company like Starbucks might use this system. You know, okay. they have, I don't know, 2,000, 3,000, I don't even know how many restaurants, it's a lot of restaurants. Um, and they could put messages on each of the restaurants yeah. that you could have a public interaction with? You've got it. This is one of our uh, business models. We, have, we are really building an ecosystem, one application that everybody uses every day. Yeah. And on top of that, we added some nice features. So what you say is what we call the market, branded marketing campaign. So Starbucks can uh, create these messages with a, a small video or photo to advertise one of the new products and then you can have a coupon to go have a coffee or whatever. Yeah. The messages, they can drop them in the street, they can put it at the competitor entry. Let's say if you are McDonald's, you can drop messages just in, in the queue at the, at the Quick or at the Burger King and uh, people will not be spammed again because we address privacy at a very early stage in the project. Yeah. So how it works, you go in the application and you say, I go to subscribe to categories. So you go to the category fast food and you see our partners. You see McDonald's, Quick, Burger King. And if you like only McDonald's, you select McDonald's. And you receive only McDonald's ads. So 
the advantage is it's a, a win-win situation where the advertiser will get only messages sent to people who are willing to consume in the brand. And this is more efficient. This is interesting. Well, I mean, I'm looking forward to trying it out. Sorry? So I'm looking forward to trying it out. Download it. It's on the App Store today, on iPhone, yeah. and iOS. And uh, by the way, we have patented it. The, 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 this uh, technology of uh, geolocalized message and time messages. Yeah. And uh, we are really looking to develop internationally now here. Very cool. Um, how are you, just a little bit about the company. How is it funded and, and what, what, okay. what, where is the company fundamentally? So the company has been created in Switzerland, in Geneva, yeah. in January 2011. We raised $100,000 to create the company and we raised another thousand in August of this year so we we actually used two hundred thousand dollars to build all that and there's a lot of work and uh, now we are closing uh, a, a, a business angel uh, round just before Christmas of uh, six hundred thousand to go to June and we started to talk to VCs Good luck. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Where do we find it? At the App Store. Yeah. If you go to the Apple App Store, you do ZMS. 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 Yeah. Download and it's there. It's our beta version. OK. And where do we find you on the web? www.inzair.com. E-N-Z-I-N-Z-Z-A-I-R. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.